Hi sir, good morning. Good morning, Ritija. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Okay, uh, please introduce yourself. I'm Ritija Murida Mankar from Changurla. I complete my graduation for, from Solapur University in BCS. I know back then, Kuru Java, Arvan Java, Sarwal Red, Spring IOC, Spring MVC, Spring Boot, Terevisi, Terevisi Temple. Okay. Today we will take uh, your interview on uh, OOPS concepts, okay? Uh, yes. Please a uh, little bit in, uh, explain me what is OOPS concepts and what are the points? Uh, data heading, hmm? uh, encapsulation, abstraction, uh, inheritance, uh, polymorphism. Okay, good. Okay, abstract class and interface are also the part of OOPS concepts. Okay, uh, no problem. Okay, what is data heading? Hiding internal con hiding internal confidential from uh, data outsider mm -hmm. and for what proper authentication is called as a data ID. Okay, uh, how we achieve data ID? Uh, in Java, achieve data ID using private keyword. Okay, uh, and then what is abstraction? Uh, uh, hiding internal implementation from end user and provide only service is called as an abstraction. Okay. Uh, okay, what is inheritance? Uh, using parent class, uh, class property into child class is called as inheritance. Okay, and what are the types of inheritance? There are five types single inheritance, multi multiple inheritance, multi level inheritance, power, uh, uh, hierarchical inheritance, and hybrid inheritance. Okay, uh, what is meant by simple inheritance? Means, sorry, single inheritance means uh, child parent relation. Hmm. Okay, uh, and multi uh, multiple inheritance means what? Multiple inheritance. Two parent and uh, one child. child. Okay. Uh, Java support multiple inheritance? No. Why? Uh, because indicated problem. Okay. Uh, suppose we have two parent class with same uh, with same member uh, and uh, child class uh, accept that parent class member, but JVM will be confused. Which parent class member accept child class? Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, what is multi-level inheritance? Multi-level means uh, simple means single means what? Child parent relation, right? Multi-level Java does not support, right? But in multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, child, grandparent, and parent, yes. right? Is it support in Java? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, in uh, you just mentioned polymorphism, right? Okay, in polymorphism, what is uh, overloading and overriding? Uh, overloading, multiple method having same name but different parameter is called as overloading. Mm -hmm. uh, child class not satisfy parent class implementation, then child class uh, override that parent class implementation, it's our own logic, it's called as overriding. Okay, and uh, what are the rules for overloading? For the overloading. Uh, method, method signature should be different. Uh, mm -hmm. Access specifier same or different. Uh, return type sh uh, should be same or different. Return type should be same or different. Okay. And what are the rules for overriding? Uh, method signature should be same. Uh, return type should be same or uh, coherent. Uh, access specifier same or increasing order. Okay, you mean access specifier should be same or increasing or means uh, if my method, uh, parent method have uh, public, you don't uh, write uh, protected in child class. Means it should be in increasing order of same. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, why uh, overloading is compiled and polymorphism? Uh, overloading takes place at a compile time, mm -hmm. uh, depends on preference object. Okay. Reference that. Okay. That's why overloading called compile time. And uh, for overriding, what we call? Overriding uh, takes place after uh, runtime. Mm -hmm. and depends on object type. Okay. That's why it's runtime polymorphism. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. What is the difference uh, between overloading and overriding? Overloading uh, method signature should be different uh, mm -hmm. in overriding. Uh, method signature same should be same. Uh, in overloading, uh, return type should be uh, same or different. Uh, in overloading, return type should be same or uh, coherent. Uh, in overriding, uh, and in overloading, uh, same or different. Okay, uh, same or different. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, object class, you know, right? Is parent for all why? Uh, object class contains some method mm -hmm. which are required in every Java class. Mm -hmm. That's why object class is a parent of all Java classes. Okay, good. Uh, okay, what is abstract class? Using abstract keyword, we can declare abstract class. Abstract class contains normal as well as abstract method. Okay, normal as well as abstract method. Abstract methods. Okay, good. Uh, okay, what is abstract method? Okay, method contains you know problem. Uh, methods have uh, does not have body, right? This method we declare abstract, abstract right? And why uh, this method does not have body? Because currently initially we don't know logic, right? What we write inside that. That's why we declare this method as abstract. And this abstract method, uh, if any class contains this class, can always we uh, declare as an abstract. Can we create object of abstract class? No. We no. Can. Okay. Uh, why? Yes. Do you have any idea? Why we uh, uh, does not create object of abstract class? Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, suppose uh, abstract class does not contain any single method abstract, right? Means all methods abstract, right? Can we declare that class in abstract? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, what is interface then? Um, interface is a pure abstract class. In interface, every method by default abstract. In inter interface, every variable by default to public static finite. Okay, by default public static. Okay. And it's constant you say, right? Okay, uh, uh, can we create object of interface? No. Okay. Okay, and uh, suppose uh, I want to call constructor, right? Of abstract class. Can we declare constructor in abstract class? Yes. Okay, uh, then how can we call it? Is any idea? Uh, child. Class. From child class constructor. Okay, and this process is called as constructor chain. Okay, okay good. Okay. Uh, then what is abstract class and interface difference? Can you explain the difference between abstract class and interface? Um, abstract class contains normal as well as abstract method. In interface uh, only uh, abstract method. Okay. Uh, abstract class uh, have constructor. Okay, In interface uh, cannot have constructor. Okay, good. Okay, uh, what is the uh, marker interface? You have any idea? Yes, okay. uh, marker interface is a empty interface. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we implement uh, interface, uh, our class class object uh, will get extra ability. Is called as a marker interface. Okay. Any any example of any? Uh, clonable interface, okay. access uh, random access uh, and serializing. Okay. Uh, the things are good, but uh, you have to little bit uh, be proper uh, all those things. But all the things are good. Okay. We will uh, reschedule your interview next uh, week. Uh, for now, I have done from myself. Thank you, sir. Okay.